Hi everyone, today we're going to look at square roots, specifically for the Pythagorean Theorem, and we're going to use the Desmos calculator for our evaluation. So let's start with an example. I have a right triangle that has a height of 8 and a base of 6, and we want to find the missing side, which is the hypotenuse, so let's label that x. Okay. So remember the Pythagorean Theorem says that we square the two sides, so the base and the height, and that will give us the hypotenuse. Order is really important here, so you want to make sure that the hypotenuse is on the opposite side of the equation all by itself before you start doing anything. All right, so let's go over to Desmos to start looking at this. Okay, so we had 8 squared, so I'm going to push 8, and you can square it with the key, and then we're going to say plus, and then I have 6 squared. Okay, so that says 100. Now to get the value for x, we have to take the square root of the 100 and the square root of our x squared, so that's going to tell us what x is equal to. So let's head back to the calculator. So in the next line, I want to take the square root. So the square root, I can see down here on the key by the ABC and the sound, I hit the square root, I put 100, and it says the value is 10. So there's our value of 10, so that's the length of the hypotenuse. Let's try again. This time, I didn't give you the height. So I have the base is 15, I have the hypotenuse is 20, and again, I will call the missing side x. Setup is super important. I need x squared plus 15 squared is equal to 20 squared. All right. So to get the x squared alone, I'm going to move the 15 squared to the other side. So I have x squared equals 20 squared minus 15 squared. Remember, order of operation is exponent before I do addition or subtraction. So I don't want to do 20 minus 15 right now. I want to go to Desmos right now, and we're going to put in 20 squared minus 15 squared. So 20 squared minus 15 squared says 175. So I have x squared is 175. We're going to take the square root, then take the square root. So let's go back to Desmos and find the square root of 175. So I hit my square root button, 175, and it says I have 13.22875 goes on. So no expectation that every time we do this that we get an integer. We're not always going to get a whole number. Sometimes we're going to get decimals and that's okay. Pay attention to the directions and the problem you're given so that if it says to round, you know what you're going to round to. Let's say we round to two decimal places. I'm going to call this 13.23. Let's try another one where I just started with decimals. I went, let's just go ahead and get into it from the beginning. So I have 4.7, I have 8.3, and I'm going to call the missing side x. Same setup, 4.7, I square it, plus 8.3, and I square it, and that's going to be x squared. So we need to find these two numbers before we can deal with how are we going to solve. So 4.7 and 8.3, that's what we want to have. So I have 4.7 squared plus 8.3 squared, and it says 90.98. So we have 90.98. Hopefully by now you're starting to get the idea of what we're going to do. We're going to take the square root. So in my next line, I'm going to type square root. 90.98. And again, we got a decimal. That's not a big surprise. It started with the decimal, so I have this long decimal. And I'm going to round, once again, to two decimal places. So 9.9538. The 8 is bigger than 5, which says let's round that up. So we're going to call this 9.54. Okay, one more. I have 12.5 as a height, 26.3 as a hypotenuse, and I'm missing this bottom, um, which I would call the base of x. Setup should be 12.5 squared plus x squared is 26.3 squared. And it doesn't matter if I put the 12.5 or the x first. I just need to square both of them. x needs to be by itself, so I'm going to move this 12.5 squared to the other side. 
I have x squared is 26.3 squared minus 12.5 squared. So this is exactly what I'm going to put into Desmos, 26.3 squared minus 12.5 squared. So 26.3 squared minus 12.5 squared says 535.44. So now I have x squared is 535.44. And once again, at this step, we take the square root. We take the square root, and this is going to give us a value for x. So I hit the square root. 535.44. Let's one more time do two decimal places so I can see 23.139. That 9 is going to push that 3 up to a 4, so my answer will be 23.14. We have 23.14. Hope that helped.